Hello everyone, welcome back to Developers and Coders Club of NIT Agartala. Today we are going to discuss educational code forces around 152 problem statement C which is binary string copying. I guess you have already read the question. Uh, let me explain a little bit the question wanna see that we will be given a uh, binary string and we will be given some queries and what we have to do is we have to make the uh, we have to make copy of that given array uh, as much as time as uh, much query we will be having okay so here in the first test case we have five queries so we have to make copy of this array five times and uh, on each query we have to uh, we will be given a range so we have to sort the array in that range and all uh, the final array list which we will be uh, which we will get from there we have to find all the unique unique sub arrays means oh, sorry uh, we have to find the unique strings total uh, array the unique how many uniques let me explain a little bit on whiteboard so you can see here we, we uh, I'm taking the first test case so I just made five copies of it and then I am performing the uh, one by one query on each string so uh, if I perform first query so it will be from one to two uh, if I will sort then it will become something like this okay uh, for second uh, I have to sort it from here to here so it will become something like this for this two to four it will become something like this which is same 5 to 5 will be this so it will also be same 1 to 6 will be this so it will become something like this okay so uh, now uh, let's come to solution let, let me explain the iterative approach first so what can be the method to solve this question okay so if you observe the uniqueness you will find that in and let's take these two test cases first two okay in these two as you can see we are getting same here you can see these these, these three are the answers and these two are, uh, are already existing in our list okay so answer will be three we have to give this counting how many unique strings we will get so if I take uh, the first and the second uh, query then in both the cases answers are coming same why let me explain a little bit see if you will observe properly you will see that we in both these cases we have to sort only this portion see this is the core portion which, have we, which we have to sort and uh, we will leave all this so what does this mean like if I have some array something like this 0 0 0 something 1 1 0 0 1 1 1 1 1 okay so the all these occurrences of zeros we will skip and from here all the occurrences of ones we will skip so at final the core sorting which we have to do will be this so what does this means this means the first zero from left side and the first one from the right side if we iterate from left to right if we go from here the first one which we get which is this and from right to left if we go then the first zero which we get this so these two are the core portions which we have to sort so this is the core so let's suppose uh, in one range i get uh, in one question uh, query and uh, let me take the uh, write it again so uh, my question was something like this one zero zero one 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 okay if I get question something like this and uh, I get uh, one range this and another range this so first range is something like this second range is this let's suppose third range is something this okay so uh, as you can see in the first in this one let's number it one two and three okay so in one and three you can see uh, if we see the results will be same why the results will be same because the core portion which we have to sort let's just remove second for, the, for some time okay so, uh, here you can see in this case uh, here if we will sort it uh, so only this portion will get sorted this portion this portion only will get sorted uh, all other portions uh, will remain same as it was in both these cases 
Why? So uh, because it's because the first zero from uh, right to left, which occurred, we have to move that one to leftmost side, and the first one which occurred, we have to move it this side. So this is the only portion which we have to solve. So uh, like if we get two queries in both the two queries. we are getting the same portion core portion which we have to sort then we will get the same result this is the core concept of this question so this was only which you have to understand now we will be optimizing this code how we can optimize like if i directly go iteratively then what i will do uh, i will get get some range let's suppose l to r then uh, from l i will skip all these all these zeros and i will reach at one and from r index i will start iterating uh, iterating towards zero and uh, means toward back side and then i will stop uh, at uh, index where i will get the first one okay so uh, my uh, after iterating these two i will get something l result let's suppose name it l result and r result so uh, if this r result and l results are uh, let's suppose it something like this what does this means this means the, that uh, the first zero which we are getting from this side and the first one which are we are getting are at means their original places means one zero is this side one is this side this array is already sorted but if we get something like this what does this means this means that one is here and zero is here so we have to sort this core portion whatever uh, the index range comes we have to sort that index range okay now uh, every time i will be doing this so it will uh, create time complexity error why because uh, the range of the constraint of questions are very big so you can see n m n and m r 2 to 2 to the power 5 uh, which will generate very long so uh, which will take so much time if we will go iteratively so now what can we do so uh, if you observe more properly then every time what are we doing every time if i am coming at this index suppose i came here and here so here what i want i want the first one which occurs in sorry let me with this so this is our range okay sub so range in this what i want i want from here what is the index of first one so it gives me this okay from here i want the first zero i will skip all the ones and i will come here so this will be my core portion means i only have to sort this portion and all other portions will already be sorted okay so i will sort this and i will get my error now let's suppose uh, someone else came means uh, in another query i gave something like this i got this to this now again if you will see i will skip all the ones and i will come here from here also i will come here so i have to sort this so again core will be same so these two will generate same string so uh, means from here i what i have to find i have to find the first one so what if i store i store at in means from here i store what is the first one which occurs after this okay so if i will do then i will get this one from here i will get this one and uh, anywhere here if i will come like if i come here i come here i come here anywhere i come then the first zero from uh, this side if i go then i will get this one so if my uh, if i come here and here it will generate the same result if i come i get query from here to here again it will create same uh, result because the final uh, portion which we have to sort is same okay so this will be our core uh, concept the concept uh, of dp uh, you can say it's similar to dp because we are uh, saving some results so uh, you have to save the results now uh, let's see the code you will understand very better okay so this is my code so uh, this is our input portion from here uh, i have created two array nz which is means which means uh, nearest zero from left uh, from right if i iterate from right to left the nearest zero it will contain at any specific index and similarly it will contain some uh, uh, nearest one okay and then 
I will be simply uh, this is my code uh, where I am storing this. It's something like this. Let me explain a little bit more. So what I have done? Let me explain the final solution of DK. So what I did is I created an array something like which name is whose name is no which is nearest one. And here it will be nearest zero. So for nearest one, what I have to do from left to right, I have to find the nearest one, the first one which occurred, uh, which will occur if I will write it from left to right. Okay. And in and Z, I I have to find the first zero which occurred, which will occur if I will write it from right to left. So what I will do for uh, next zero, I will start iterating from this side, and I will store. Like suppose uh, this is uh, from initial. It's the initial array, okay? So initially, uh, I will maintain two more uh, integers. Let's suppose uh, let's name it n zero, which will fill my. It will be int min means minus, minus infinity. Let me write minus infinity. It will be minus infinity, and n one. It will be Plus infinity. Okay. So for n near zero, what I will do initially, it's uh, let uh, I will come here, and here I will see it's one. So I will do nothing. I will just put n zero here. So it will be minus infinity. I will come here, and here as I will come first, what I will do? I will update my n zero. If it will be one, zero, then I will uh, replace this value and I will put index of it, which will be two. So here I will put, and then I will put the n zero value into it. So it will be two, and here n zero is not changed. So here also it will be two. Here I will come, it will also two. Here I will again update. So it will become one, two, three, four, five. It will become five, and then I will update. Then it will be five. Here again I will come, and here again zero. So I will again update. So it will be six. Similarly, from I I will iterate from right to left, and I will. Do the same for one. So for one, I have taken plus infinity, and here I came. I saw it's zero. So here it will be plus infinity. Again, I came here. No addition. Plus infinity. Here I came, and I found one. So I have dated my n one as six five four four. I will put four here. Again, I came here. I again got so three. Here I didn't got anything. Then I will put three. And here again, I got. So I will put one. So what will this do? Okay, let me just take this example. So here I got one and two. So uh, for one, uh, for uh, so this will be one. This will be two. So for this, I will be finding the first zero. Uh, for one, I will be finding the first one which occurred from this side. So for one, I will go here and I will see. So here I will get. First one is at index one. Okay, so I came here and I found that uh, first zero in this range. Uh, I will uh, go to second index, and here I will get that uh, the second uh, first zero will be at two. So it will give me one two. What what does this means? This means that array is not sorted. So I will put it in my set. I will create a pair of set set of pair, and I I will store one two two. In this, okay. Similarly, I will uh, I will use this, and here I can you can see at one I will get one, at three I will get two. Again, I will do same. So it it was already there. So no addition. I will come here two to four. Here at uh, second index one two two I I am getting three. So it will be three. Here uh, four one two three four two. So here you can see. It's giving me three to two. What does this means? This means that my array is already sorted. The section which I got, the core portion, there is no portion to sort. All everything is already sorted. So in this case, this is one special case. So what I will do? I will be, uh, I will be containing an integer where, let's suppose mark. I name it mark. So I will just. Say that uh, mark became one. What does this mean? This means that the given array also got generated. 
Why? Because it, if it's already sorted, that means the array which we were given, which we will, which we were given in initial time, it's already sorted. Okay. So we will mark this one from zero. Initially, I will start at zero, and if I got, then I will just do. If I got this, means if one is greater than zero, something like this, I will mark this as one. Similarly, uh, for uh, five to five. I will get uh, since these two are same as you can see here again I will get same infinity and 5 which means that this this is greater than this and again I will do same and for 1 to 6 as you can see for 1 it's 1 for 6 it's 6 so again we have to perform sorting so this will again create new pairs so 1 to 6 and 5 so our answer will be 3 the total size of final set okay so uh, i guess uh, you will understand now what i want to say this is n0 which i have taken minus 1 you can see uh, you can take minus infinity also means int min and for n1 uh, you can take uh, plus infinity i have taken plus 1 it's same only nothing will happen okay so now uh, i have added it from left to right so that I can update, uh, I can uh, fill the nz array which will contain the nearest zero. Similarly, no array I will iterate from uh, right to left and then I will fill the no array. Then I have created one set and then for every uh, query I am uh, is, uh, taking its input into it and then I am uh, checking. And if uh, this is the one special case which uh, case which I told you I have uh, named it main str you can take any integer name and if this happens this is a special case then only we will make it one uh, remember we don't have to add into it like we don't have to do plus plus we have to make it one only only once it will get changed again if it comes if it again comes then we will not do addition plus plus we will just make it one and in all other cases we will just insert in our set which I have created here and then finally we will output set size and plus the main str one special piece so let's run the test case so as you can see it will get passed ok so it got passed all answers are correct so thank you for watching please subscribe to BCC